Okay, um, the baby's daddy. Let's talk about him. Um, you have tapes. Why don't you look? <laughs> yeah, about that. So what happened between us that made a um, pretty passionate couple uh, no more? Um, so Donovan and I had um, had sort of an interesting history. This was a guy who, um, oh, he was great. He was he would say he was he was whatever that cartoonist, the cowardly dog. He said, I do what I do for love. And Donovan, oof, but now he might change his testimony now, but damn, dude, he was like his, like his um, friend said, what a spirit he has. What a spirit he is. Yeah, exactly. And Donovan was really fucking cool in that he operated by his own set of ethics. This is not the world's most ethical man. Um, you know, meth has has a huge consequence <coughs> Donovan had had um, starting when he was 17 with a line from his mother um, had had a meth addiction for eight years straight and it very much changed who he was he does have a good heart he is actually a warm guy with good characteristics this drug however and unfortunately a very unhealthy family dynamic led him to to being um, I think a bit more, uh, you know, in that cluster, antisocial, sociopathic, um, uh, psychopathic, I think is the <laughs> official diagnosis. Um, not a uh, compulsive liar, but a pathological one. So, but surprisingly, he did have a good heart, actually. And, and you know, the last time I talked to him, he said, you know what, I really... I really do love you. I'm just a psychopath, so this is like the best that I've got, and I I totally believe that. I think that that is true. Um, I think that you know, <laughs> as fucked up as it is, and we'll get into the story in a second of how things ended. I think that Donovan um, did for me more than he ever did any other girl, and I think that he um, he like try to uh, he as much as it that might this might be a scary statement he was less uh, Jesus, he was, he was um, apologize. um I think that he was less mean to me than he was any other girl I'm I mean some of the stories he's told me about some of the things he's done with other girlfriends I, I think that that is true I was um, his mother and him have a very unhealthy codependent relationship. You can ask anyone that. And that is just no. Yeah. And, um, you know, Caprice has good characteristics somewhere in there, but it's like her own children say. It's like she does until she doesn't, and then, you know. So <laughs> this family, they, they have a warmth to them, but they also have um, some real lethal, uh, unhealthy habits. And that is just fucking true, and you guys know that that's true. So, what happened? Um, Donovan and I, Donovan, Donovan was trying to kick meth when he was with me. He would always not be high, and I think that was very hard for him, and he went through a lot with that. Eight years of addiction, trying not to be an addict, and I watched him even go through, okay, through, um, like having a horrible, horrible tooth pain and not have any anything for it, not a painkiller, not anything, or a gel, and still not use drugs. And, and watch people try to get him to use drugs and he's still not using drugs. I mean, he was, well, and eight years to his mistress, uh, meth was his mistress more than the, any woman. He started to behave towards women um, in some not nice ways, including um, robbing them. He had a thing with if you were also a junkie, then then all game or uh, anything's fair um if you were not though like he knew that i was not that's why he was protected and couldn't do the things that he did to other women because he's like you're an innocent i can't do that so he does have an ethics a code of ethics of his own um so uh we
we did well in love. We did go through a lot of things, um, of him trials where he was, well, we're always put to a test. I am and he, he is, and we were passing. Um, like, I couldn't leave this guy for five minutes without the cops showing up. I couldn't leave this guy for five, and this is literal. I couldn't leave this guy for five minutes without, um, another girl trying to get him to do drugs with him. I mean, it was relentless, um, to the point where it's like, he can't just walk five minutes to the store to get something without someone trying to get him to drink or do drugs or looking like his ex or hitting on him a billion times. We, he had a relentless ex who was sporting Illuminati stuff, always did who called every single fucking day telling me the intention was to break us up. I mean, this is a kind of dedication that's not normal. And, um, and watching, you know, other people try to come at him too who fit the build for what he's looking for in, in his town where nobody is. It was the weirdest thing that they don't even live there and yet this is happening. Um, I do also want to remind you that the girl after me um, ended up I don't know, her arrest record says that she's a man. <laughs> wow. So, you know, there's the setup right there. It's to make him look like he's gay or something. Donovan had a, a no shits given attitude, including his badass dude, against bribes, against uh, people trying to hurt him. Someone hit him when he was on his bike. His SUV kept hitting him three times in total, uh, but two times. Uh, two different events over two days um, and that was in a very remote place actually that was like in the woods and, and, and in a place where you wouldn't really think you would be stopped Donovan I left because now Donovan was never high around me but um, there was one time in Sonoma I guess he had done tried to do meth and ended up doing something else when I wasn't there and well he was not okay for like three days and so when I saw him not okay on these drugs I left it was too much for me to see him high even though he, he didn't really mean for it to happen but he did try to do drugs and then this is what happened so I left and I went to Santa Cruz and I, I decided that can we not throw that please? yeah that um <laughs> that I couldn't be, I knew he was trying, you know, to be sober, I knew a bunch of things, but that, um, that I couldn't make him stop drugs if that's what he wanted to do, so I left, and, um, the next day, after seeing him high, and, um, and he had told me within five minutes of meeting him, our conversation <coughs> went to some really deep stuff, and he was so cool, he, he knew I was the real deal, he was incredible, look, the guy was very smart, you can say what you want, but I don't date unintelligent men, my men are notoriously smart, and, um, Donovan is no exception to this rule, and he, I mean, he, this guy, he was blowing me away, um, you know, he was only, whatever he was, 25, 26 years old, and he's sitting there talking about, but I know you have PTSD, I can tell from this and this about you, I mean, this is within five minutes, but you, the way that you phrased your answer, you have to be telling the truth. You don't use drugs. I mean, he was nailing it one after another, and he, he was just, he was very perceptive, very intelligent, and he just bought it right away. Now, I don't, he can say whatever he wants now if he wants to sell out or whatever it is, but, you know, listen to what he was saying the whole time, that you don't use drugs, but yeah, listen to that, because that's real, and go ahead and look at the body language, and, um, and it said with such a sincerity that, you kind of have to know that it's real. And so Donovan did ask me to marry him many times, starting three weeks into a relationship. On about the 25th or 30th time, um, I said yes. And his mom's reaction was not good. She went and this was a woman who was telling me that she loved me, that I helped her, that she had never seen her, her, her <laughs> whoa, and almost so true. Um, Donovan so happy that he was finally laughing. She was blown away, her jaw dropped. He's laughing. I can't believe this. He laughs with you. He never laughs. He doesn't talk. He's talking. He's laughing with you. I've never seen him so good. This is, wow, blown away. And yet, when we wanted to get married, that's when she went to hell. And she opposed it. She told him, make sure that not to get me pregnant. She told him to give me birth control, give me birth control, 
and then I found her tampering with food many times and um, and you know after the birth control thing it's like well gee what are you gonna do you've already made the cut and um, when she found out that I was pregnant with Wolfgang she lost her shit and was like get rid of it and um, and the family came after me to get an abortion really adamant <coughs> against me having this child it was fucked up okay and um, so you know and Caprice I think initially she had meant well I do I think initially she really did care I think it just it was too hard for the pressure just to be on her and she just she's only as good of a person as she is and she her the drugs that she uses meth it turns her into something kind of awful she's okay and then she does meth and she's well the shit out of her mouth is like so dark and so fucked up and so constant and relentless and and it just it got very hard for me to be around drug users who sleep all day and he was very much trying not to use drugs donovan really didn't use meth um maybe two possibly three times the whole time that we were together um, and and he would tell me that I messed up I hardly hit it I'm not really that high and I would be like looking at him like it's not that high but yeah he sounds like you know he didn't you know yet yet again someone stuck a, a pipe in his face now, he doesn't shoot up will not shoot up the burns on his mark are just that uh, on his arm are just that he's, he burns his arms with cigarettes all the time um, self mutilation is a form of you know, Donovan had a very hard life. He had been in five foster homes and um, had a dysfunctional family and, and been molested repeatedly and all this. So, um, and I think that gave him more compassion for my cause. I think he did have that. He is capable of compassion. It just doesn't always hold his interest. And, um, and he was very loving to be with. Like, honestly, most of the time we were pretty good together. Like, if a fur use a video, we're pretty good together. Um, it's just when we weren't, it could be something awful. And he did have a temper, not just towards me, towards everybody. Towards everybody. Um, like I said, I was the girlfriend that he had the least towards. And, you know, his mom never liked any of his girlfriends. The only one that he ca she kind of did was one that gave her drugs. And then she grew to resent her for all. She wanted to be the candy man and control everything. It's like, bitch, you gave her drugs. You wanted her around this older woman that had dated her son. Who was like, um, in her, I don't know, it was like 30s, and she did it.